back to our lesson. We're going to do a, a different kind of fill this time. Still eighth note fills, but this one's a little bit different, and then it, it is, and and it hints at sixteenth notes as well. The second fill. So I'm going to show you the first one. Pretty simple. This one you use it a million times. Very very just a simple way to introduce something new that's going to happen. You know, if it's into a verse, or if you go into a chorus, or if you're coming out of a verse or a chorus or a solo, very, very easy, simple, gets the job done, and it, it, it goes like this. I'll show you. One, two. That's that one. I'm going to do it on the floor time now. One, two, and... Second floor. Now, I'm going to also do it and break it up between these drums and these drums. Okay? Again, all the stuff that I talked about before, with it all being even and making sure to keep the snare, you're doing rim shots and on the toms, make sure they're even. It's not. Nice and even with velocity and dynamics, and they're nice and straight. Okay, so here's an, another version on on different drums. So I'm gonna go. Ah, this is what I forgot to tell you, that we're doing everything's been right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, right. Well, we're gonna go right, left, right, right. Right! It boggles my small pea brain, but I'm going to try to attempt this. Now, it's, we're going to go. Same fill as before. Same one, except we're leaving this guy out the second half. So it's right, left, right, right. Ready? And. Right? Now I'm going to show you all these, I'm going to play them with the beats to show where they go and how you fit them in. But practice that again. That's a whole different lesson. Um, now, when you do, do these, and they're really simple, again, the same thing. The kick drum starts with the first hit of the snare, and the fills by themselves, and then when you crash, you're hitting the kick with the... Same thing. Here's the first beat, and I'm going to play the, first, the fill that I just showed you with the beat. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now, I'm, as I told you in the earlier lessons, I'm always keeping my legs are, are bouncing in a one and two and three and four. And I want, uh, 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 it's doing right, all your limbs are moving together and that will help you keep time while you're doing these fills, okay? 
remember, you've got to keep your keep your body, you know, in tune with what you're playing and what your hands and your feet are doing, and that'll help you keep the time. You won't speed up or slow down when you're doing those fills. It's really easy to speed up and slow down when you're not just playing straight time. So again, with any of these fills, with the beat, tape yourself, record. It really, really helps to see where time might fluctuate. And breathe! Remember to breathe. Okay, so I'm going to try the other fill. Right, right, left, right, right with the same beat. Ready? Now, I'm going to do a little bit quicker, a little quicker tempo, and, and see how the fills fit in with the, with the groove and what you got to do to get around to the drums, okay? Here comes, I'll play the first fill with the first beat. Remember, you can do the same thing. You can be playing on the ride, all the things with the right hand that we were doing before. You can do the same thing. You can put those fills in any combination of where this, if, you, if I'm... combination like that that all works great okay now um, I'm gonna play uh, I'll show you a different fill okay and this one it's um, it's very kind of synonymous with with Motown music and Motown drummers the great Motown drummers pistol and Benny Benjamin these guys played on millions and millions of I don't know millions but so many, so many great songs, so many, so many hits that you know that you've heard. And one of their signature fills that they would do, either to start out a song or if it introduced a new section, whether it be the, you know, a verse or a chorus, they would do something like this. They would do it in two different ways, probably more than that, but basically it's kind of like this. I know you want it. Oh, sorry. Now there's another, uh, uh, they did a more swingy version that had a little more snare drum stuff and it was, and that's like, if you get some, start to do, if you start doing that kind of stuff and it's a little trickier, it sounds really cool, it's really hard to make it feel and sound like these guys, but this is, you know, it's still a cool feel and a nice feeling to be able to sets up whatever's coming up in the song really really well so I'll do it uh, I'll play let's play the second beat and I'll show you how this feel works and I'm gonna do it on this tom I'm gonna do it on this tom and I'm gonna try to do it on this tom okay so it's So basically, I'm so used to so so used to rolling on the snare drum. It's hard for me not to do it, but slowest two kicks. Right, but if it's quicker. And 
if you want to get fancy, if you can. Or, that's the Terry Bosio way. <laughs> but it just has a nice good rolling feel and has more 16th notes in it. It has both. It has 8ths and 16ths. Um, again, play though. I'm going to play the first fill, and then I'm going to do the second one we just did, and I'm going to play those with the beats that we've learned. Okay, so I'm going to do them around the toms, break them up in different ways, just different combinations, and, um, you know, have at it. Okay, so I'll start with the first one. One, two... <coughs> Jesus, I know what I got done. What? And doing all this, you know what it's really about? It's just learning to be able to just play and have fun. And with three beats and three fills, you can do it. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Exactly. And, uh, you know, that's what this, all this master class is about. It's just to get your feet wet and you can play music.